Just Streaming saying. TV is getting a big new player. Comcast is jumping in, and they're saying theirs is completely different. But the same, but different. <laughs> yeah, everybody's doing this now. They're launching their own internet-based cable TV services because people are getting rid of that traditional cable subscription. And more importantly, young people are not signing up for cable TV in the first place. So how do you get them? You have something like Sling TV or this new one from Comcast, Stream TV. Uh, and of course, uh, once you do that, you run up against this new uh, trend of data caps on your home internet. Mm. If you want people to stream all their TV, but you're capping their data, what do you do? Comcast says, well, if you use ours, we're not going to charge it against your data. How will that even work, though? Well, they claim that, uh, well, because of net neutrality, you're not really supposed to give your traffic preferential treatment compared to, let's say, a competitor's traffic ah. if you're a content uh, a provider like Comcast is. So they say that this service goes over a different part of their bandwidth, and it's technically not over your Internet service. Interesting. Do you think that works, Stan? I mean, is that... Is that argument going to fly? You know, this service is pretty limited. I'm, I'm not sure it's going to pick up a lot of viewers because it's basically HBO and broadcast channels. You don't get like ESPN or CNN or things like that. Um, so it, it almost doesn't matter too much how they're working the math on it. I think we're going to run into a lot of problems in the near future, though, on data caps because we're streaming on things like Netflix and binge watching and switching from that cable wire to Internet TV. We're going to have to solve this problem. Somebody's going to have to pay for it. Well, we'll see who that is. Dan Ackerman, thanks. Good to be here.